Hey what's up guys this is 3D Bonfire back with another amazing tutorial and I just uploaded a tutorial on my Patreon where I showed how to build this complex simulation with chains but of course I also want to share some knowledge with you here on YouTube so I think let's just build a simple chain here so I will start with a rectangle put this one to 20 and 10 so this one will be one element of our chain let's just activate some rounding all right this is looking good let's also put an end side into our scene let's put this one to 1.5 this will be the profile of our chain now let's put both of them into a sweep and there you go this one looks a little bit ugly so let's put this one to 30 now this is nice and clean so there you would have your basic element of the most simple chain that you can imagine but i just had the spontaneous idea to make this one a little bit more interesting today so therefore I will just duplicate the sweep put it over there let's just go into it and let's make this one maybe to 30 or even 40 we think about it yeah that could be fine so now we want to build a chain made out of these two elements which could be just a bit more interesting i just want to do one thing here i want to select both end sides and i want to press c to make these ones editable go into points mode now select Control a to select all of the points right click and go to chamfer and now i just want to chamfer these ones a little bit and you can see that our chain is getting smoother and smoother but i just want to do that a little bit here around the edges so now you can see that the light is just getting really nicely caught in these edges and it just looks more realistic that's beautiful let me now press c to make these ones editable and i will kill all of the selection tags here all right this is good now we have these two elements and i think what we should do is to just make a chain where we have maybe two of these elements and then one of these elements okay so we iterate through them so therefore i think we want to have two of the short pieces all right or maybe even three of the short pieces something like this okay and then one of the big ones so let me just see what happens when i put this one into a cloner here and set this one to linear now i set this one to 10 maybe set this one to four and and there you go this is looking a little bit wild but i just need to measure the distance here so it could be something like 16 this is fine let's go into the rotation and let's rotate this one so they are connecting as they should this is looking good i just want to select this upper piece here go into the axis mode and move the axis down there so now you can see we got the simple element here and i think we can now just put this element once again into a cloner so let's create another cloner put this cloner into it let's create a linear chain here and let's just move this element up there we want to do this maybe 10 times all right let's just see so it seems like that everything is connecting as it should this is looking really nice now this one will be already a dynamic chain when you just go over here put a rigid body tag on it and i think what you just should do now is to press ctrl d get rid of the gravity but maybe you want to put a turbulence into the scene put this one to 250 for example and we could just also maybe duplicate our chain multiple times here just create like six or even 12 copies of it let's just see something like this and now hopefully when we start the simulation this one will look good but it doesn't look good you can see that it is exploding and it's not connected anymore so the problem here is that the collision shape is set to the wrong mode here or it's not accurate enough but i like to put this one to convex hull and put this one to five for example now let me play this one more time and okay it's still broken so let's put this one to 10 and now this is looking better all right you can see that the elements are not exploding and everything is working as it should this is just looking amazing and now nothing is holding you back from building even more complex chains and just go really wild with it okay so thank you so much for your time see you in the next tutorial bye everyone